Hey everyone, and welcome back to more Mutant Year Zero. So, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a backtrack here, because the first nine episodes I put out of this, I actually did uh, the day that I got the key for the game on Friday. Now it's Sunday, as I'm recording this, and all nine episodes of those uh, that I recorded before have been out, and I've got a lot of good comments. So I wanted to go back and collect a couple pieces of loot that I had missed, and also, I believe I can do the fight uh, back up here. Like, actually, I believe I can do both the fights um, at the Iza and Fala zone using some new things that I've learned. So first and foremost, let me just go through some of the things that I've learned from comments in case you haven't been keeping up with them. First off, Twitch Shot, I don't know if this is a bug or not, but Twitch Shot only works if the enemy doesn't move. Uh, and the gapper here moves them with a 30% chance. Can destroy cover, knocks back enemies. Oh, actually, I'm not sure what the chance is on this. Maybe it's always all the time? So if we use the gapper with Twitch shot, it pretty much almost never is gonna take both of the shots, interestingly enough. So this is probably not the most useful thing. I'll switch to run and gun, I suppose, for now. Actually, I'm gonna keep it on Twitch shot for this very moment, because I'm gonna use it for the pistol, because that's the next thing that I learned, is that I can use Twitch shot on the pistol to get more ambush damage. Another thing that I learned is over here uh, with ducks. We can use the ancient pistol that has 20 crit total between the ancient eye and the base crit, plus the hat, which is 20 more crit for 40 crit, plus our minor perk here when shooting from high ground. That's going to give him 90% chance to crit from high ground, which is an insane, insanely good chance uh, to knock off 7 damage here on an enemy. Might even be useful to have that um, state switcher moved over here for two additional crit damage versus the one. But either way, with this combo, I can get a lot more um, burst damage out on enemies in the very beginning of a fight from being hidden. We can fly up immediately, use uh, almost a 90% crit chance. I could make it 95, actually, because I do have a red eye over here, but I'm going to keep that on the state switcher for now. And Borman here can use Twitch Shot on his pistol, which is not too bad, although I do want to upgrade it. In fact, I'm probably going to go upgrade it right now. And then lastly, something, a major mechanic I didn't understand until I read the comments this morning, is that these um, perks are regenerated by squad kills, not by individual kills. So I have been being super conservative with them up until now. Uh, I've been trying to save them for when I really needed them, but holy bananas, I could use these almost all the time because they're gonna be constantly rotating back up and back up. So uh, with all that being said, let's travel. Uh, many people, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to go to the arc outskirts. Many people said that uh, at the crashed, I'm just gonna hit the M here. Uh, at the crashed, um, the fallen angel, I uh, did not loot the loot box. So let's go back and grab it really quick. The reason probably is, is that this is the episode that I recorded four times because it kept crashing and bugging out. Uh, and I probably, by the time I was done the fourth time, I was so focused on trying to avoid the bug of it crashing that I didn't even remember to grab the loot. Oh, look at that nice moose over there. That's so cool. Such nice artwork in this game. If I remember correctly... Oh, this is, um... That's a log. Oh, hey, here's some loot right on the ground. How did I miss this? It's only a couple of scrap. Oh, I thought here was the chest. More common scrap that I had missed. Someone else had said that I missed an artifact. So we're going to go back and get that artifact. Oh yeah, I missed all kinds of stuff here. The artifact is on the boat. And apparently I have a key to unlock a zone on that boat. Well, it doesn't look like I actually missed that much. I did get the crate over here. Uh, there was a couple things on the ground somehow I had missed. I was actually wondering if the game intentionally lowered the particle effect on the loot, the more into it you got. But it also might just have been that I played the game for like 10 straight hours and just was recording and editing non-stop on Friday when I got the key, so maybe I was just out of focus. Either way, that's one thing taken care of. Let's go back to the boat now and get the artifact and then find that new zone. And then we'll go hit up the arc and upgrade our pistol. And then we'll go complete Iza and Fala. And there's actually two things I can do. Again, from comments, people had mentioned if I get enough points here, I could just switch Magnus over to 
uh, puppeteer to take control of one of the hounds. And then I was actually thinking if I just get two more points around ducks, we could switch over to knee shot to pin one of them down, which we could rotate in and out with circuit breaker as we need. So it just, it feels to me like in games like this, let me see if I can find the zones. No, I don't know where this, this zone is. It's got to be down there someplace. But it always feels to me like in games like this, when you pick a perk, that's it. You're like, you've got only that perk for pretty much ever. Like, that's your spec. And maybe you can respec all perks. But it really did not occur to me. Ooh, I didn't even notice. How did, I didn't notice this last time. Look at that. That's so cool. I mean, they got ghosts out of, like, twigs and a tarp. In any event... Um, it didn't occur to me, naturally, that I could just switch back and forth constantly. Yeah, we lost. Oh, there's a gun, actually. We could just switch back and forth between basically every fight. And here's the evac key. Yes. I see. And then all there's a lot of stuff that I had missed. Cool looking thing. Look at all these Skeletals out here in the docks. Broken electronics. Ooh, pyro armor. Absorbs fire damage. I was actually thinking of buying one of those, but now I don't need to. Magnus is going to be more in the front line than Ducks. He's way in the back, so let's give this uh, over to Magnus. It's only plus one hit point. Uh, however, it absorbs fire damage versus our stalker vest, which is just generic. Just a generic item. Now, let's go zoom over here and find that artifact. Then we can go back to town, uh, buy another artifact's perk upgrade. And I feel like I missed a loot box on that last fallen bird map, but I don't know where it is exactly. I just walked through the whole area as far as I can tell. Unless it was off to the side. So there's supposed to be a car battery up here. Oh, it's actually right there. I didn't even see it. Well, it's kind of in the fog, though, and it's, the particle effects are very slight because it's kind of sunk, and yeah, if you're right next to it... Wow, I ran right by that. Power brick. A heavy lump of metal. 50% of school. 50, oh, 50% old school. A heavy lump of metal that the ancients used to connect to machines to make them work. There still seems to be some power in it. Makes your tongue tickle if you lick the top. Hey, I've seen these before. You need to lick the top to see if it still works. <laughs> Ducks, don't play with that thing. We're bringing it back to prep. I, I can't feel my tongue. <laughs> hey, it's not funny. I think it is funny. Well, that's probably the least funny one of them all. Let's hit the arc really quick, and then we'll go get some fights. We're going to clear that whole zone, I hope. Oh, it might be a little difficult if I can't get two perks on Ducks first. Fix boss was my dad, and my dad just died. Let's get the memer. Now you're stuck with me. Upgraded. What do you want? I like the memer quite a bit. We got no modules available for it whatsoever, but that's fine. We could disassemble some of these things. I'm actually curious what they're worth. 17. Hmm. Scattered gun. Not dismantled currently equipped weapons. Oh, that's because Selma is wearing it. I see. All right, we'll just Bye. leave that alone. I don't think we'll get the 60 we need. Pull up a stool, stalkers. Fantastic. I think I want to do grenade damage by four. This only this is kind of useless to use this because you can just heal after the fight for full. So I don't really care about 10% crit against me. That is so weak. This is obviously the best one. Fantastic. Ability unlocked. We now have four damage grenades. Do we still have one perk left? Extend EMP grenade effect by one turn. I guess we do actually have another one. Wow. Okay. I think we've got most of them in the game now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think we spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've gotten seven out of nine, and I think the most you can get is one less than the max. That's what someone said. I don't know if that's true. Increase wet. Wow. Ranger. Increase weapon damage by one. Or Butcher, additional 10% crit chance against living creatures. Well, for ducks, I would bring them from a 90 to 100. 
But I'm kind of feeling like, who cares when this is just clearly better, the Ranger, I think. Have a swell time out there. This crit damage is usually just plus one. Welcome. Sometimes if you want zone gear, I've got it. Sometimes you can get a little bit more. But only with like mods and items and whatnot. So while I'm here, we've got four med kits, that's fine. We've got a whole bunch of everything else. We got six grenades, five Molotovs. Let's buy a couple of smokes just in case, because I like them. Or just Safe one. Travels. Now, let's go see if we can't fight the fight. Fight the good fight at Iza and Fala. And we had cleared everything here about the three zone dogs. I'm going to make so much more use. So much more use of my perks now that I know how they cool down. Now, if I remember correctly, we need to come over here and ambush the guy up top first. Then there was one guy on the right we could ambush after that. Yep, there he is. This guy has basically no idea what's happening. Why aren't you guys coming up here? What does that say? Palm frit pizza. Falafel. I do find it awkward. For whatever reason, the other guys love to go underneath here. As soon as you get closer, it seems. Random common scrap. Let's hide up here. Okay. We'll wait till that goes away. Fantastic. And then lastly, I think we'll just ambush here. Okay, let's start with ducks. We're gonna activate. We're gonna blow our moth wings and get into the air like we just don't care. Or, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Now, uh, okay, so this gets us elevation. Look at that, you only go up like one level. That's really all we need. So up we go. Super cool. Now let's pull out our silent ancient pistol. I never would have thought about this, but there we go. 100, oh. I was somehow wrong. Weapon base chance 20. Oh, we're hidden, so we get 15 more. He's actually got a 105% chance to crit. High ground from the hat is plus 20. And 50 from our perk. Look at that. And we have a long range, but we also have the high ground. So 100, 100. Okay, and it's a silent pistol as well. Does that hurt? Ah! Yes, the enemy has indeed heard me. But now, I don't even need to use my um, my Twitch shot here. I was going to, but I actually don't need to. We'll move right up here. Make sure I switch over to the memer. And the memer in the face. Feel that. Okay, four more damage. Let's activate over here as well. Zoomy zoom, 100%. Yep, Magnus was caught sneaking after that really matters. And bolts ahoy on the ground, friend. What a difference knowing how to play the game it's makes. Over. What a difference. And now, ooh, here's some weapon parts. Beautiful. Now everyone just got one of their um, points back. Ooh, rare scrap. Okay, and I believe I could take that shaman out by himself in the distance over there. We grow. Everyone follow me. Oh wait, Dux isn't coming. I thought R is recall. There we go. I just hit it three times and every time I hit it, for whatever reason, it switched to Borman. I don't know why. So we just reduce these guys down quite a bit. You guys coming down or uh let's split up. 
Foreman? Yeah, I had to teleport him over there because I was getting scared. I could probably go quicker. I don't know if I missed anything else loot-wise. Um, many people said that I would miss stuff, but unless unless it's important and you tell me where it is, I'm not going to go spend an hour looking for, like, two scrap. So I think, uh, I think right here is where we can do this. Let's set up. Why, why am I having difficulties? There we go. Oh, God. Well, this is not what I wanted. I, I hit hide, and for whatever reason, Magnus came out here and hid in the other side of the fence. So we may actually just get ourselves into a fight here. Unfortunately. I didn't realize you had to use dodge dash actively, but now I know. So that's good. This guy's got 16 hit points. We can probably still do the same thing. So we get 100% over here. That's fine. No, not the Rambino. We want to use the crossbow. 100% for five. I th I'm hoping he's out of the range. Oh, actually, if we look at this, we have to move closer. I'm not sure if he's out of the range, but we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, we alerted this guy. That's fine. Let's go for the crossbow now. It's still 75. We'll, we'll just pray for luck. Huh, oh, beautiful. Now... Let's use the Borman ability here. Make sure we're going to have 100% with the Memer. Now, it's going to be less because we're going to use Twitch Shot. So, make sure we're going to get close. But not so close the other guy sees us. Borman. Twitch Shot. With the Memer. 75 times 2. That's so cool. We missed one of them, however. Now, we have to hit this guy quite a bit which is okay because he's gonna burn at the end of his turn i just wonder if these guys are gonna get to go after that i really hope not get as close as we can get the 100 percent on the pistol we hit for five i hope he just burns to death and that's the end. i think he will oh never mind Bingo. or we can have that. or we can just crit him hey guys come here well look at that One weapon part. Let's get up on the top here to fight the rest of these guys. So we have elevation. Valuable scrap. Yes, look how much more I can accomplish now that I know how to play. So let's get right here. The ducks. That's a great place. Um, not quite sure where to put Magnus. Oh, can we actually hide him here? No, he's going to be hiding in the wrong direction. Should I take out the probably the hunter first? Then we can stun the tank. We can even activate with like a chain lightning if I wanted to. I wonder what the best way to start this is. I kind of actually want Borman. Stay put. Down here, ready to go for the knockout charge. And yeah, I think we'll drop down. I don't really want, yeah, I think we'll knock down the tank. And we'll try to hit the hunter for a significant amount from like this high cover wall. Let's see what our odds are here. Fire absorb, psi absorb, beautiful. Or we could just do a chain lightning, actually. That would work as well. We do eight damage though with the Rambino, but it's only 75%. Hmm. Could, of course, move closer. Or we could chain lightning. Oh, it goes past their armor, which is actually not all that bad. It's, However, it's probably best used against uh, cover. The alternative is we move up try to get 100%, but then we're out of cover, but if we, we go over there and do the bull rush with Borman, let's make sure Borman has it active. I don't even have it on him, actually. Okay, so never mind, we're not going to do that. We could knock down the tank. But he's going to get a chance to move. He's going to have to come over here and shoot Borman with the blaster back or whatever it's called. 
Let's activate ducks as well. Probably should have switched out my perks before this, but it's all right. Let's go for the state switcher on the hunter. 100% to hit, 100% to crit for nine damage. Wow. Okay. Sure. That's a lot. All you ducks. So he's got seven more points. We could actually easily take him down with the gapper here and just run out with Borman if we wanted to. I didn't take the running gun because I meant to. You know what? We can always eat after this, which would be fine for me. So I don't even mind if Borman gets hit, to be honest. That probably hits for like seven. I just wish there was more of a place up here with high cover that wasn't super far away. I would have put Magnus up there otherwise, but since there's not, I think we're just going to risk this. Because we do have a half-decent chance, 75% chance to outright kill him. Looks good to me. Rambino, fire. Oh, oh. <laughs> not so bad. Get up. Get up, he says. I love it. That was pretty incredible, to be honest. mormon has got a 75 over here. Which is not the worst place in the world. Um, this is not cover. We could move up there and knock the guy down, but then he's going to be able to shoot us and we can't get anywhere with cover. So I do feel like... Uh, Dox is very likely to get targeted and I want to make sure they shoot Borman. So I may just run out into the open, honestly. He's going to have like a 100% chance to hit us, but we're going to have a 100% chance to hit him. So come on, Borman. Plus we can eat their corpses as well. We'll see how this works out. I don't know what kind of damage this guy does. I've never fought one of these guys. He's looking pretty serious, though. He's looking very serious. 100% to hit, 20 to crit. And here we go. Okay, return fire is not going to be fun. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Freaking gimp. I had no idea he could do that. Let's reload here with ducks. Wow. That's surprising. 95% chance to crit now because we're no longer hidden. But we do have 20, uh, an additional 5% on the state switcher versus the pistol, so. Looking good, though. 95% is still a ton of crit. God, that guy's got a lot of hit points. 17 hit points remaining. Well, I'm a little bit worried. Bur Borman might very well die here, but that's okay because we can use one med kit to uh, heal him to full after this. We just got to lay in as much damage as we can, and this is a lot of damage. We may as well reload before we do it. And bullets ahoy. Ooh, another crit. Beautiful. Guy's down to eight hit points. Poor Borman. <laughs> He's going to get wrecked. I think. Oh, the poor guy. No one messes with me. No one. He's getting so wrecked. I feel bad for him. All right. Let's pop the reload over here again. And take the shot. Well, we hit. We just hit two 10% crits on Magnus. Let's go for three. No, not quite. Regardless, though, we'll be all right. Uh, I hope we do have a shot here. It actually looks like we don't from where he is. So that means we kind of need to move. And then we need to do six damage. Which, keep in mind, what if I fly up right now? I can see... Wait, can I see him actually? Fly up over here. 100% to hit. 100% to hit. Oh, I can shoot him from here. Never mind. So 100% 90 for some reason, I thought that I couldn't, because it's just, it's just we just didn't reload. So let's switch back and reload. When I was out of ammo, I couldn't see the line, so there we go. And even if we fail, he's dead. Easy peasy. <laughs> wow. Gorman gets back up. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was kind of rough. <laughs> Sorry, ducks. We got three points. I really needed one more to get the knee shot here to hold those dogs in check. And it wouldn't be bad to get four more to do this one. But uh, poor Borman, we're going to have to give you a med kit now. We're out of combat, so this should heal you to full. Beautiful. 
All right. Come on. Let's see what we got. I don't. Oh, Doxy, all right. Yeah, there we go. He was just stuck a little bit. So one loot crate for us. A couple of weapon parts. We're gonna get the memer upgraded sooner than I realized, or maybe I should actually upgrade something else. State switcher is pretty crazy. Now that I know how to use or uh, the abilities and know how frequently I can use them. Pipe gun. All right, that uh, doesn't look that good to me. That's that's what um what's her name sells all the time. Old tool scrap, sure. Now, can I kill three dogs with 26 hit points each? Now, we do have the ability to do a lot of damage. We might be able to burst one down. Then the other two are going to bite. Well, here's another thing I completely missed. How did I miss all these things? It's, like, really obvious. It's right there. Not so sure I can handle these dogs without either getting the root from Selma or... 26 hit points. A lot of hit points. The root from Selma or the mind control. And we're very close to getting both, but we have neither. So I think we'll come back there and finish those dogs up a little bit later. Let's go back to the original plan, which is the Iron Serpent. I'm almost wondering if we should go back to where we started. Which, was it the eastern... It might have been the metal bird? No, I think it was the eastern outpost. Because there was that... Um, there was that chest in the very beginning with two level 45 guys. Maybe we should do that. I think I can handle it. Let's go give it a whirl. If it's there, maybe it's at the bird. We'll go see. Okay. Turns out it was actually at the metal bird. What do we got here? Marauder level 55 with 18 hit points. That guy actually has 36 as a tank. So we would need to do a little bit of strategies here. Number one, Borman. You don't really need to... Oh, I forgot to eat corpses. But we probably want to switch to the knockdown now. Buy us a little bit of time. Still like the twitch shot. Magnus has the chain lightning, which honestly, it doesn't do that much. We have the telekinesis field. I completely forgot about that. It's passive, though, so we don't have to worry about it. And I could switch this over. 100% chance, critical chance, minus 25 accuracy. We already have that, so that's pretty useless for us, to be honest. All right, so I th believe we could probably... The Marauder is melee only. We could root these guys, actually. We could probably just sit here and snipe them quite a bit. Level 55 tank. Boy, 36 hit points. And we don't have elevation like we had before, but we do have a knockdown, and we can chew into them quite quickly. I think we can do it. We might take some damage. Might have to use a med kit, but we can get that loot, and that's going to be a high level loot, is my guess. So where's the smart place to set up? I suppose we have ducks over here, because he's got no defense. Borman's probably going to want to come over here. Stay put. Let's have Magnus stay still, get close to the Marauder, and wreck him. And then Magnus can stay here. He does have telekinesis field, so he can probably maybe move up to the car. Shoot the Marauder in the back. Then again, Marauder's currently exposed. Uh, or not exposed, rather. So Borman's probably going to have to go up there. I think the first thing he's going to have to do, actually, is go up there and twitch shot and then take a big hit from that tank. And our plan is going to be to run up, shoot the Marauder, like, instantaneously. So how do we open? This is going to be a fight, huh? Hmm. 100% to hit the tank. That's not my interest right now. My interest is this Marauder. If we fly up, we'll have a much better chance of that. Will we have line of sight from here? I think so. Is now the time to take him down? I think so. Alright, let's come up. We still have the same shot. I don't. I think we still get the cover here as well. I'm not sure. This should be a hundred hundred on the Marauder. These guys have no idea. Boy, how far we have come. Hundred hundred from Eleve Chion. Right in the face. He's got nine more hit points. That tank's a little scary. 
Now, I could actually hide and not activate Borman. Uh, or Magnus. But I am feeling like I want to take that Marauder down. Is it possible for the... I could hog rush the tank, actually. And we could run up here and shoot with Magnus, but we're actually not going to kill him because we only do eight and he has nine. Might be a smart idea for to go for the hog rush now because this guy's pretty scary. So let's do that and knock him back. Charge two action points. Get on in there, Borman. Get on in there. Oh. Uh, whoopsie daisy. So we're still hidden, so we're not getting step outs, which is unfortunate. Uh, we could move over here and, and get the 100%. We don't have to worry about the step out. Um, sorry, Borman. I hope I hope we hit the chance to light on fire. It's a 50-50 to kill him now. Pray for luck, guys. That nope. Uh-oh. Sorry, Borman. Oh, Borman. Okay, that's actually not bad. He's got... Ooh, Borman. Oh. oh, boy. I didn't know, Borman. I didn't know. What kind of grenades we got? We got the chem. We got the actual grenade. What does this do for damage? Eight. That's a lot. We also deal eight damage, so what's the point? Uh, we may as well just shoot at that point. Docs can go over there and take a shot. Um, I don't I don't know what to do here. Borman's he's gonna be out for sure. Ducks can elevate, get a big hit on the tank that might knock him back. Then who can take the Marauder out? Pretty much nobody. I move over here, we have a hundred percent chance to down this one. What kind of grenades do we have? Smoke. Okay, well that'll work actually. Before I throw it. Okay, I have a very good idea. Um, we move over here. It's still only a 75. But hey, a 75 might be enough. Nope, not on the tank. Over here, I want to take this guy out. It's not going to get any better than that, so let's make it happen. Beautiful. Okay, poor ducks. I hope you're going to be all right, buddy. But let's throw that smoke out now. Borman, you'll be all right. Interesting. Let's reload over here with the state switcher. Now, we can't hit because he's on overwatch. Or sorry, the smoke's in the way. But we can't move because he's on overwatch. I think I have a lot longer range than he does, though, presumably. I don't know what his exact range is, and I can't really tell for sure. Like, I'm going to have line of sight there. Where can I tell he's going to shoot me? Are we actually still hidden? Is that what this... Uh, I think maybe we can move over there. Let's give it a whirl. I don't think he'll... Oh, he can shoot that. Oh. Really didn't think it would shoot that long with a 75% chance to hit. Wow. And here's the thing that's really surprising. I thought that was a single move. It was a white move. Uh, yeah, so we, we, re we re reloaded and then we moved there. So yeah, that's fine. That's what should have happened. Um, since we're in the smoke, I kind of want to stay in the smoke for a little bit. And since I can't shoot if we're in the smoke. Uh, I could have actually just activated the dodge dash. I really didn't think he'd be able to shoot from that range. But it's just one of those things you got to learn, I guess. You can shoot him pretty hard with the Rambino, but then he's going to come up and flank us and shoot us pretty hard. Or 
Just throw a grenade on him for free damage right now. Did grenade shred by chance? I was wondering if there's any way to shred in this game. Let's find out. Rather than moving up and exposing ourselves. Nope. Okay, he's gonna reload. Oh, oh, whoa! He can still smash in the smoke? I had no idea. Okay. Well, if we move here, we're blocked by smoke. We move there, we're good. Here, we've at least got some cover and a 100% chance to hit. This is not going well. Mormon's just getting literally smashed around here. 100%. Magnus. Get stupid. Yeah. He still has the hit points and a lot of them. Now the problem is the smoke is actually working against us. And even if I move over here, we can't get a shot. No matter where do we go, we can't get a shot. Okay. Ducks move back. Do it again then, friends. Do it again then. Poor Borman. <laughs> He could move really close and shoot ducks, but we do have 75%, so. Boy, good thing I bought that smoke. And he's just gonna come, oh, this might, yes, the smoke actually ended while he was in there. Which means we can shoot him, but it's only 25. Okay, who else do we got? You can't tab unless you're on movement, which is a little bit weird. Well, we could pull the overwatch with our dodge dash. But I can't really get anywhere with cover unless I went here with Magnus. That should be a step out to shoot him. I'm not like a super big fan of it or anything, but let's go for it. Dodge dash. Oh, use your mutant speed to dash to target avoiding all bullets fired at you. It ends the turn, though. Well, that's not very useful. We got a chem flare here we can throw out to light up the days. So you know what? Let's throw it up over here. I actually do think this is a good idea. This will give ducks a heck of a better shot. 75. Range, low cover. That's all we can really do, honestly. I did that. Beautiful. What do you think about that, huh? Pretty good, I think, ducks. We're still in the smoke. Is he going to smash us again? No. He's going to move over and overwatch. I don't even think he has cover this time. Okay, we're going to reload again. Ducks is about to start getting wrecked. Borman's back up and at him. He does have the twitch shot now. We could move up and we'd have a pretty good chance to, to hit him. From here... It would only be a 50%. From there, it would be 75 with his regular shot. That's surprisingly low. He's going to get killed, probably. We have an EMP and we have a Molotov. A Molotov, do they actually... No, they still deal one damage. So it's only regular grenades. That would burn him for two for several rounds, though. I think the smoke's going to end at the end of our turn, though. So it may make sense to dash through the Overwatch. Does dodge dash? It doesn't necessarily... It says it ends the turn, but do we have to... I guess you technically have to dash, or can we reload first? Because this doesn't end the turn. Well, dodge dash... I think dodge dash does require two action points. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure it does. Where could we dash to? We dash over here, I suppose. He, I hope, doesn't have any kind of AoE. Swing and a miss. We're also running him out of ammo, which is really nice. Now, Borman. You need to blow a hole in this guy, buddy. Now, we're going to be in the chem flare, though, which is bad. If it works for them, I'm not sure. We can get cover here, which isn't really going to help us. I'd rather just lay in some damage before Borman goes down. <laughs> Look at the little dopey go. Okay, 75. Low. He does have low cover behind that boat. I didn't think the boat was low cover, but there's not a huge amount we can do about it. This is where a running gun would be useful. We could do a twitch shot, but it's 250s. I'll 
alternatively, you could actually move over here and use the pistol. Where there's, yeah, we wouldn't be flying, but it would be five damage. It would do almost nothing. This is so not good. It's still a 75. It's the best thing we can do. 75 ducks. Okay. It's getting down there. I think he's got 17. Yep, 17 hit points remaining. I think Borma's going to go for 250s with a knockback. Technically, I should have done this first, but we'll see if one of these things get a knockback. It, it, the Twitch shot will break if the knockback does work on the first shot, but let's give it a whirl. Borman's going down after this, which is actually okay. Looks like we might have missed the first... No, actually, I think... Oh, Borman's down, buddies. Ooh. I think he hit the first one, and he hit the second one. Fantastic. State switcher. Now, is he... He's in the open, and he's also in the chem. That's exactly what we want. Let's pop that reload on ducks. He's not in the chem light, actually. I thought he might be. Okay. Well, we got one shot on the Rambino. I mean, the chem light's right. Oh, it must have gone out. I see. It only lasts a few turns. We move up. This is a 100% chance to hit for eight. I think we're going to have to do that. Or alternatively, we do the same sort of thing over here. 100% chance. Okay. I don't, I don't see much of a difference between one or the other. We're going to get a big hit on Magnus, but he can't kill us in one shot. There it is. Gonna warn you again. Nice. Lit him on fire. He's got four hit points. We need to deal six to him total. And we have a 75% chance to make that happen. Only one action point remains, so I can't move. And the pistol does five. Okay. So, we just take the 75, and if we hit, he's dead. Beautiful. We hit end crit. Whew. Well, that's gonna cost us two med kits. But that was a fun fight. That was level 55. We got an EMP grenade out of it. Sorry, Borman. <laughs> the poor guy. Oh, hey, here's the chem grenade. Maybe he was just close. Oh, that poor guy. I had no idea Smash wouldn't work. Does it actually tell you that in the perk and I just never read it or didn't read it close enough? Summon untapped and extraordinary primal strength, then charge into your enemies, even through walls. Enemies hit by this are knocked out for one turn. Can destroy covers. Knocks out enemies for one turn. It says nothing about it. Well... Now you know, friends. Now you know. And let's see what we got okay, for our efforts. Oh, a boomstick. Well, we already had one. So we can disable that or rip that one apart, I suppose. Uh, and then have a little bit more. Oh, actually, hold on. Hold the phone here, guys. Did ducks get another? He did. There's the knee shot we wanted. Now we can go kill those dogs by switching over to the knee shot. Beautiful. Foreman, what do you got over here on your mutations? You can, I was actually thinking of going... Well... Just thinking about it. I'm not sure we really need it, though. Oh, he can eat corpses. I keep forgetting that. Let's turn it on and see. We can effectually do that every single battle. By just switching back and forth. Or, or do you have to do it during the battle, actually? No, you do have to do it during the battle. Okay, now I understand. Well, in any event, I think that's the episode. We can definitely kill the dogs. I think I might drop um, Magnus for Selma. We can go root him. We can shoot one of them in the knee. And then we should be able to take him out, I hope. Uh, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of micro before that happens. Anywho's, there you go, friends. The first of three episodes today. Tomorrow is going to be the last day I put out three episodes because the game will release, I think, in the afternoon. And I always try to get as many out as possible uh, before new games come out. So uh, after that, it'll probably be one or two uh, every day. So in any event, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. It might be a smart idea to go for the hog rush now because this guy's pretty scary.
So let's do that and knock them back. Charge two action points. Get on in there, Borman. Get on in there. Oh. Uh, I 